Hello, it's Friday the 24th of April and this is your 5-Minute Chelsea News Update. Let's get cracking. Now, in the past few days, we've heard plenty of Chelsea players praise Frank Lampard. Another to join in is Callum hudson odoi The leader Lampard was always going to make a top coach at Chelsea. He said this, I always thought to myself that he'd be a good manager because of the way he used to lead on the pitch when he was playing. You could tell that he demanded a lot from the players that he was playing with. It's an amazing feeling to know that an ex-player, an ex-legend, has come back into the club and has the opportunity to work for the club and we're working under him. Every day you want to learn and keep improving. Obviously, he knows all about becoming a top player. So, you want to learn under him and maybe one day become a Chelsea legend yourself. There's little doubt hudson Doy will be on his way if he can get back into the team and play regular football. Here's an interesting post. With all the uncertainty in the Premier League and at the moment, whether it's going to be finished or not, here's a view from the mirror. The final Premier League table if points per game system used to decide the season. UEFA has taken the option to void the season off the table if Premier League clubs hope to have the European football in the 2021 season, while the Premier League bids to find a solution. They believe that if the season can't be finished, then UEFA are looking at potential playoffs or a points per game system and they believe that at the moment a points per game system is the preferred option and to do this 14 of the 20 premier league clubs will need to agree and here's what it would look like if that option is taken up liverpool obviously top man city leicester chelsea fourth so we would qualify for the champions league now i'm recording this video in the middle of the afternoon and it looks as though the eredivisie in the netherlands in holland will be cancelled hakim zayek will be free to join chelsea on July the 1st for his £36.6 million move, which had already been agreed. So to Sky Sports and an interesting article, Premier League unsung heroes, Chelsea's Matteo Kovacic, named as one of them. And I agree, I think he's been outstanding, Kovacic. He's been absolutely brilliant and these stats will tell you why. Let's start by saying Kovacic has gone from being Chelsea's most sub player under Maurizio Sarri to one of Frank Lampard's key men this season. It does say that his assists and his goal strike rate is not great. One goal, five assists in 57 games. But it's his work in getting Chelsea into attacking positions that separates him from most. Most ball carries this season. Kovacic is second to Fernandinho Man City. Best dribbling success from the whole Premier League. Matteo Kovacic out of 60 plus dribbles. It's the players from the Premier League who have 60 plus dribbles in the season. He beats Adama Traore, for example, 79% successful. And just to quote from this, it says, while this doesn't translate directly into goals and assists for Kovacic, his work just before these actions is valuable to his side. He completes more passes per 90 minutes in the final third than any Chelsea player this season, moving the ball there and playing a prominent role in fighting his forwards. Kovacic is outstanding, and I think we've honestly got ourselves a bargain. Transfer news now and Sport Witness claim Athletic Bilbao are hoping that Kepa Arizabalaga is sold on by Chelsea because they're going to get a cut of any potential profits. Can't see it happening, I think Kepa will stay at Chelsea. So to a story that's doing the rounds, rivals believe Arsenal will be forced to sell Pierre-Emerick Aubameyang at a knockdown price, stating that Chelsea and Barcelona are interested in signing him. And this is also featured in the mail, as you can see here. Ready to listen to offers for him as a shelves talks over a new deal worth more than £200,000 a week amid the coronavirus. It's believed that he wants a significant upgrade on his current deal to sign an extension. With the uncertain financial future regarding football and the coronavirus effect it's had globally, it's interesting to see what's going to happen. But many believe Arsenal will be forced to sell, especially if they don't qualify for the Champions League. Everything's up in the air at the moment with regards to transfers, but Aubameyang, would you take him? So to Philip Coutinho and one other story which is key, make sure you stay tuned. Chelsea given the all clear path to sign him after Liverpool reject transfer for the star over the phone. It's believed that Liverpool were given first option with Coutinho leaving Barcelona. They've turned it down, which gives Chelsea a free reign to go and make their move. Now... More on this. Philip Coutinho told that he will get the Jurgen Klopp treatment if he signs for Chelsea. And this has come from ex-Chelsea player Glenn Johnson. Johnson, who was a teammate of Coutinho's at Liverpool back in the day, said that he would get the treatment of an arm round the shoulder if he signs for Chelsea and Frank Lampard will get the ultimate best out of him. At Barca, you go there and there's a superstar in every corner that you look. Maybe he just blended in a little bit rather than being the key man. I think he just needs to be made to feel a bit special. 
He needs an arm around him. I think he'll get that at Chelsea. Chelsea already have their main man amid Jadon Sancho and Philip Coutinho transfer talk, and they're talking about Callum Hudson-Odoi. This comes from Oliver Harbour, the Chelsea correspondent on Football London. There's a real feeling that 2021 will be the season where Hudson-Odoi starts to feel that real potential. With the Blues being linked to Jadon Sancho and Coutinho, Hudson-Odoi could prove why the, blue, why the club should put their faith in him. Hopefully, with a full pre-season behind him, it could be the time to show what he can really do and take the next step in his development. That's it for me, guys. Let me know what you think about anything discussed, any stories discussed in the comment section below. Smash that like button for me. Then subscribe to the channel if you haven't done it already. But make sure you hit that bell for notifications so you don't miss my videos come out. There'll be more videos out Saturday and Sunday. Check out the content that's listed here also for more from my channel. Thank you so much for watching. See you all next time.